ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Atlanta Falcons.
Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On second down, Freeman. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of two, now third down. So when you call a corner blitz, what a lot of teams call a cat blitz, you expect him to come after the quarterback, but in this case, he ran into the ball carrier. Really nice technique, because what you do is you come deep at the deepest offensive player so he can't get outside of you. They run the play fake to Coleman. Now Ryan escaping the pressure right. And he fires one, but incomplete. And that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of 10 there. And it'll be first down Atlanta. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Oh, what a juke into space. The 30, the 20, 10, touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 63 yards. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. You talk about explosion plays. There's one pretty much right out of the gate. And now they get to ride a wave of emotion, momentum, everything. Just as you, just as you described, right out of the gate. Big sprint, touchdown. They're excited. But on the other side, they've got to guard against a major letdown because they hit them right in the gut with that one. And now you start to question yourself a little bit when you give up the touchdown on the opening drive. but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he's simply taken a knee and that's the 25-yard line. And some changes here as the D-line separates them. State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. Again, it's Bell. They find some open field here. Le'Veon Bell kiss him goodbye. Take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, 81 yards. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. He's <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up. Right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? Absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. But third MVP this past season and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. But he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL... That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 72 yards. And the Falcons have taken the lead. And that is...
is how you retaliate after getting scored on one play big pass downfield and you hit the end zone almost feels like two boxers just throwing haymakers at each other doesn't it one connects with a big one the other comes right back okay i'll show you and they attacked right back on the first play of the drive and hit them big Turn there, gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. I want to give a hat tip real quick, Charles, to J.J. Watt before the possession switches here. Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year. They totaled up how much he helped raise for hurricane relief, $37 million. Incredible. Hurricane Harvey, which really hit the Houston area in a big way, and his original goal was $200,000. <laughs> so congratulations to J.J. Watt and all the people who participated. And Greg Olson of the Panthers, Benjamin Watson of the Ravens, both tight ends, also nominated and finalist for the most prestigious award as determined by the NFL, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers didn't go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. A fake to battle. Now it's Roethlisberger. Eluding the pressure right. Going deep here. This is caught at the 20. And he'll be out of bounds. Able to take this one down to the 20-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Roethlisberger. Now he's forced out left. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. Duke Riley coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down for a loss of five. First carry for James Conner. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Here's Bell. And Hell running right through it. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Roethlisberger. Flushed out right. stands tall they'll get the football back Falcons taking over on offense in just a second and you know this year ended in disappointing fashion now last year was the ultimate version of heartbreak but if you're a Falcon fan was this one this one was tough to swallow as well wasn't it it certainly was because let's be honest about it losing in the Super Bowl I don't care how you lose if you're in the Super Bowl you're playing for it all this team was supposed to be as good or better ultimately ended up 10 and 6 found their way in the playoffs but didn't get the deep run as they had the year before. So you're exactly right. For Falcons fans, that's a tough one. But this is a team that's built to be good for a long time. They run. Devontae Freeman. And strong running there. Gets this up over the 15-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball, the ones in the huddle doing the chirping, Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Ryan's going to give to Freeman on the draw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A minute 57 to go in this first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. They go play action here on first down. 
pass to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. So Dan Quinn decides to call for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. From midfield now, here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. Really good, smart play by the defense, understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able to make a play on the football and bat it down. the offense off the field they're staying out there and they're going for it on fourth and on the outside they're playing press coverage they're going on fourth down it's Ryan and this is incomplete so certainly an interesting call there to go for it and this defense will take over right midfield well, before the possession switches here i had written down that i wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the nfl we know brady was the mvp but todd Gurley, offensive player of the year how about that for a bounce back many were questioning whether he had a sophomore slump the season before didn't even get to a thousand yards was a dominant force in 2017 how about his teammate aaron donald on yeah. the defensive side he took home defensive player of the year award yeah very impressive they had both sides of the ball sean McVay deserving i think you would agree of coach of the year yeah definitely i mean what he did for the rams when they went from last in the league in scoring to leading the league in scoring and winning a division title and how about the new orleans saints rookie of the year offense and defense alvin kamara on offense martel Lattimore on defense Slot man in motion right. Off the play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. Escaping the pressure right. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, Lose the football. Yeah, it should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. I know exactly why I tried to throw the ball to Julio Jones there. He's never considered covered. He's either too fast or too strong. You always try and get it to him. Especially on those deep passes. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now Ryan, eluding the pressure right. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. He gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. CD, I want to get your thoughts on some potential free agents this offseason before we change the possession here. Now, caution, many of these guys could be resigned, I know, but who are some of them? Kirk Cousins is one. Yeah, we're talking about difference makers. Kirk Cousins at the quarterback position. He's going to be coveted around the league for by quarterback needy teams. Case Keenum had a big year. Could he move? But how about running backs? Le'Veon Bell, Deion Lewis, some pass catchers. Jimmy Graham, Jarvis 
Landry, Sammy Watkins. And about the guy who goes and gets quarterbacks, DeMarcus Lawrence had a monster year for Dallas last season. Yeah, a lot of big names that could be out there as free agents. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. He's going to go deep down the left side. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for Dallas. That happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories teams actually doing that back in the good old days. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. Here's Ryan looking for Jones and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Oh, some strong running. Intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Shift together here from the D line. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Now it's Roethlisberger. Flushed out right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation. Because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there. And now it's third down. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now, it'd definitely be a disappointment to come out of this starting position with just three points. They need to try to dial something up now, third and ten. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Wavy. Justin Hardy. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down right near midfield. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Time running out here on the play clock. This is Freeman on first and 10. And good penetration here. He'll get this down 
Only to about the 49-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll fire away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit him over the top. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And now it's third down. I think someone's going to give him the QB one's ear when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive. Second drive, not much better. Now it's Ryan. Finding Gabriel complete. Ryan finding Gabriel for the Falcon first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Back to the running game. It's Freeman. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. Back now in Pittsburgh. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Second down following the run. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line that one good for 10 yards and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here touchdown of the afternoon and the Falcons have broken our tie it's up and good and that'll make the score 21-14 here's Botcher to kick it away this is fielded a couple yards deep and he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line and the Steelers set to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Oftentimes when a guy has a game like this, he's going to take his offensive line out to dinner afterwards. But after a play like that, he may tell them, Instead of getting the steaks, guys, we might have to go for the hot dogs. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. And he's brought down after a good game. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to let it fly. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on at his second down. transpires after this. Slot man moves right. He'll look to throw. Out left side here to Bryant. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. When you see zone defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Back to throw. Flush to his right. there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And the D-line 
pinching together must be expecting the run. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about...
so sold out like the brother from the beam dot. Beats one on my beam box. Still chew meat from the cheap box. Man, I'm going stick to my team dot. Little man, that's a new blow, not a green dot. What? Pronounce it right. I go mad, yeah, I'm down to die for this. I don't care, so I'm bad for this. Man, stress, so I'm bad for life. I swear, I'm down to ride for this. It's me, too, gonna ride around for this. Man, I got no time to write a diss. I never let my man just back for this. Wait, man, thing. I don't care what rave man thing. I stay here to relax, but if it gets mad, make it young boy take man thing. Tell me I'm way too big to rebel. Nah, man, you never too big to rebel. I was in the OT filling my lungs out, Lee, but you're never too big for a gel. Leave my yard, never stick to my girl. Salute to my sister as well. Got a few bow feet down at my mum's foot. Man, I'm getting way too big for myself. Man, I see bare MCs on the sideline, but I still got a couple bangs in the pipeline. Man, I got grown men at me. You're getting way too old for this timeline. You're getting way too old for a diss. Still in the spark for your fist. Get out the booth, go home to your son. It's never too late to bring it. It's like man love, put my name in the booth. Man, you've been flat. Bottom Miami. 
little stronger, a little wiser. Maybe a little more faithful.
Selfish before I've been in the mood of the scandal
were gone for a minute, but I'm back now. Sit up, sit up, back down. Till I never met a nine-day Hollywood. I was like that now. I'ma show you, show you how to act now. I'ma show them how to act. I'ma show you, show you, show you. I'ma show them how to act. Okay, now picture little Bobby, just a young run around with his man. In his hands, feeling like a man. Run, run, run for the, for the. Get the, get the, put it to your brain.
smarter. Don't prefer to be bothered. You get if I order. That's worse than my father. I would for my mother. Deal with my brothers. Keep it real for real. Don't talk with no. Plus I duck under covers. Gotta stay on this mission. Got a vision that's endless. They told me don't be a menace. You gon' suck me a sentence. But now I'm up in this. The illest that did it. Keep it cream lit. Try to fit in this. Get by the opinion. I'm just minding my business. If I'm grinding, I'm shining. Don't got time for the gimmick.
What do you want? Wait, did, I take your money? did I take your money? No, I, I beat you. Hell no, you didn't. Are you beating me? No shit. Do you know who I am? No, I don't worry. Psycho. I know. See, again, I'm not. You joined this party like I joined for you. Joined for you. I owe you, bro. Let's play for a hundred. Uh, I don't got a hundred. But when I get to a hundred, we're definitely gonna play for a hundred. That'd be by the next. So, are you gonna be on at eleven tonight? Yeah, I'll be on at eleven. Well, I have a hundred dollars by then. I hit you. Where you have a hundred by eleven? Eleven tonight. I'm playing, in the, I'm playing in the championship right now, the tourney. It's weird I will not join the game. It's a tournament? Oh, you talking about tournament on, on a website? Yeah. How much you get? 50, but like, bro, this weirdo is not joining it. Come on. How much? $50? How much did you put in? $5? It was a free one. Oh, it's free. Yeah. That's why I joined. I will not pay for a tourney. I've been disputed four times already. Mm. Like, what the fuck? Every game I get fucking bro, disputed. Bro, my PayPal is saved on everything. So if I try to use a PayPal on my phone, that shit gonna say nah, because that one PayPal got banned or some shit. That's weird. Yeah. You know how to, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you know how to fix that shit? I'd call them. They're, they're usually good with them. Um, Fixing your problems. I usually, when I call them, they always do what I ask them to do. I mean, it ain't that deep. I just get on my tablet or my computer or my PlayStation. Yeah, just call them, bro. They don't, they're, they don't, they're not strict or anything. Just say you're trying to switch it and they'll do it for you. No, it's something with yeah, PayPal, though. It has nothing to do with the website. That's what I'm like, I don't know. Oh, what is this guy doing? Fucking weirdo. God. He's the evil, so I'll be the fucking thing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 